What do you consider to be the best evidence for evolution? What Darwin considered to be the best evidence for what he called descent with modification in 1859 is still probably the most important evidence today. It's the pattern of classification, the similarities and dissimilarities among all living things. They virtually all have the same genetic code, but then they, they split into categories. You have human beings within the class, within the group of primates, within the mammal uh, class, uh, within uh, the vertebrate uh, subphylum, within the uh, animal kingdom, within the eukaryote, uh, the super kingdom, you might say, that um, this suggests, to a certain kind of imagination at any rate, the notion that there were common ancestors that define each group. All mammals had a common ancestor with the characteristic that defines the class of mammals and that they have inherited that characteristic. Uh, so if you think then that they had a more distant common ancestor that, uh, from which all vertebrates uh, inherited the backbone, then uh, this logically explains why these features exist. So that it makes uh, evolution or descent with modification a very attractive hypothesis, so attractive that Darwin said that it would uh, convince him that his theory was true even if all the other evidence were against him. Now, there's a flaw in this whole system, at least uh, more than one flaw, in fact. Uh, one is that uh, the hypothesis was taken to be true simply because of its logical and imaginative appeal without checking it out against the, the evidence, like the fossil evidence. It was a, a, uh, a hypothesis that was imposed upon the evidence rather than that was tested by the evidence. Now, the other thing that's uh, very interesting about this uh, view of things is that the, the features that create the classification, such as hair or fur in mammals, are called homologies. They're supposed to be inherited from a common ancestor. But in fact, in a great many cases, the homologies are traceable to different parts in the embryo and to different genes. Uh, so, in short, the um, animals get them by an entirely different route. And this is strongly inconsistent with the common ancestry hypothesis uh, to explain them. It's also a well-known fact among uh, embryologists, but it never comes out uh, to the general public because, well, it's so unpalatable a fact and so difficult to explain on Darwinian theory.